everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about another bag. This is um, the Canvas Tote from Saddleback Leather in their Mountain Back product line. So Saddleback Leather, um, the owner Dave, he came up with an idea a couple years ago and has been working on it and just launched this whole new product line yesterday. Yesterday. And uh, this is one of those bags. Um, I acquired this bag because Saddleback Leather reached out to me and said, we would love to send you a bag. Would you review it? If you like it, let, us, let everybody know what you think. But we would love to hear from you about your opinions. And I'm kind of like, great. Okay, let's do it. So uh, this was given to me by them. Um, the opinions are my own. I have some pros. I have some cons to say. Uh, but I'm going to be honest with you guys just because why not? And I sleep better at night. So uh, I'm grateful to this opportunity to share this bag with you. So let's get started. This is the canvas tote and um, this is the color moss green. It's currently the only color they have and this is actually wax canvas. So I have no experience with wax, wax canvas. This is all first impressions. Um, I have been using the bag for a month but I mean I don't own any other bags in this uh, texture or this material. And I am a fan of it. I am a very casual person. I rarely dress up for anything. Um, and so this kind of fits my personality with the fact that it's quite casual. Um, and they did some leather accents. This is bull, bull leather. That's what they're calling it. Yeah. And um, it is so incredibly thick that before I forget, I want to show you um, maybe I'll post a picture on my Instagram feed of like a zoomed in version of what I'm about to do. But this is just the iPad mini sleeve from Saddleback Leather in carbon. And I just wanted to kind of show, like this is their full grain leather with pigskin lining. And this is just one, the thickness of this is just one um, piece of bull leather. Okay. I have no idea if my little camera is going to pick this up. But there is probably two and a half more times of thickness. Um, am I saying that right? I think you know what I mean. This stuff is thick. This is quality. I almost want to call it vegetable tan. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're calling it bull leather. And it is so generous in thickness. So you're going to see that throughout the bag. On the handles and this front pocket wrapped in this um, top handle. Yeah. And so that's one feature that's really cool to this mountain back product line. They actually launched nine designs. I have my eye on a couple of them. Oh, I didn't even know I liked wax cotton this much or wax canvas. So um, anyway, there are copper rivets at all stress points. And copper rivets, I have experience with this a little bit. I went to a leather shop in town in St. Louis and... I needed uh, a copper rivet added to one of my bags. It's not a side left leather bag. And putting a copper rivet on can go horribly, horribly wrong. Let me know if you want a video just on that story. He was a very sweet old man, but when I realized he had bad eyesight, uh, I should have just taken my bag somewhere else. So uh, these can be put on extremely wrong, and these look amazing. Every single one of them executed very well done, and they're going to last. Uh, and then I want to talk about the thread. Um, a lot of this information you actually can find on their website or other people's comments on Facebook and all this stuff, but I'm putting all the information here so it can help you decide what to do if you want to buy this bag. And um, if you have more information that I'm missing, please comment below your knowledge. I would welcome it. We're all friends here. Let's do that for each other. But I want to talk about the thread. Um, I have some notes right here. And to call this thread, it's double stitching with 00, zero continuous filament polyester thread. They say that this is what they make parachutes and boat sails out of. Okay. I think that's great. I think that's awesome to over-engineer a bag. Um, actually, this metal is, um, what was it called? 316 stainless steel. It's at the surgical grade and it will never rust. 
ever. I think that's great. I think life is too short not to over-engineer a bag because if you can, why not? Um, it's going to last. It's going to have this character. It is so beautiful. So um, the stitching throughout quality, leather quality, copper rivets quality, metal, um, this stainless steel is amazing. I would say a con to me about the threading is that you're going to see more of this kind of, I don't know, it's like a not a fraying in the sense of a weak thing, but it is a natural characteristic to the wax. And for a moment there I thought this was like kind of not quality, but I think that's just how it works for this material. And then the stitching is more of the shape, which doesn't really match the whole. And I'm guessing that was intentional, but I can't explain why, so I'm, for now I'm calling it a con. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay, so let's talk about these straps, because this is a really cool feature you're going to see on nine of their designs. Um, this is the only tote, but they have messengers, duffels, backpacks, that kind of stuff. But you're going to want to, if you want to change the adjustability to this, you're going to push up from the bottom. This is going to pop up. And then you can move the bag to any setting you would like. I'm 5'5". Five five. I'm going to model this bag. It's going to be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But, um... I like to keep it just on the first one here. And then you slide the bowl leather through and it does not come off. Um, this kind of jots out a little bit right here and the reasoning for that is if it wasn't linked, if it wasn't looped through this hole and you were to pull on this strap, it would stop it from coming all the way out. Does that make sense? Very, very well engineered. All right, put that back in. And then these top loops, I noticed, are to keep the strap and the bag close together right here. I noticed that um, if this is, this is not looped into here, this part of the bag will fall in. And it's not really attractive. Okay, and then uh, also these straps can be completely removed if you would like. Um, just taken out of the whole equation. Uh, why don't we actually do that? I, oh. Before I do that, let me talk about another con. And there are a lot of pros, but there are some cons. These bag, these straps are super stiff, and they do not seem to ever want to relax. I mean, that's pretty good after a month of use, but they are quite rigid. So uh, it's a con in the sense that they get in the way, but because of the material, it's almost expected of it to be that way. See, a lot of my cons are like, this is a con, but I guess it's just how it's going to be. But I can still call it a con if I want to. Okay, so we're going to pull this out. I'm fumbling. And this will just make it easier to show you what's inside. So you can understand how much can, it can hold. So the back side does not have a pocket. But the front side does. And I just have my cell phone in here. It fits really well. It has like about this much more left to go of it. Um, they changed their logo for this brand, Mountainback, by SBL, Saddleback Leather. And it will tell you the date that it was manufactured, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to like ask everybody online, when do you think this bag was made? So jumping in, this is how much I have. I could talk about the dimensions really quick. We have 13 high, 14 and a half wide by three and a fourth deep, but I'm kind of like pushing that three and a fourth deep because it's uh, the canvas material kind of allows you to do that. Did I mention that it's a hundred year warranty? I want you to know that information. It is a hundred year warranty. It's going to last. They have really good customer service. Um, I have always just, you know, if any thought comes to my mind about a concern about how the bag was made or something that went wrong with it, I just reach out to them, I send them a picture and an email and you know they get back to you and they really make things right. I've had one issue with a bag from Love 41, which is the wife's company, and they just made it right. They made it right so quickly and I'm grateful to them. Um, it really gives you peace of mind knowing that a company will stand by its leather. So uh, let's talk about the inside of this bag. You know, I mentioned these handles. 
but the way that they are stitched, it's just very comfortable. They have a smooth side right here where your knuckles are really holding on to it. Um, just a very awesome detail to have. There is no closure to keep this bag closed, um, completely closed, so you got to think about that. Totes are really helpful, I feel like, just to completely fill up, but a lot of totes just don't have closures. The tote I have, I added a closure, and that's the whole story with the copper rivets. Ugh, gives me nightmares. Okay, let's jump in. So let's see if you can view the inside. This is really full. It's quite heavy. I would say the heaviest thing in here is because I have, boop, boop, boop. this is my clutch envelope. This is the updated design, so it can hold manila folders, and it can hold magazines. It's amazing. I actually have an unboxing video on this product. So it's heavy today because I have my husband's Chromebook in here. I don't know if I ever told you guys this fits. It fits like a glove. Alright, let's put that over there. So that was really weighing this bag down. Um, I do want to bring this out just because there is a comment on the website about this product line is that because the canvas is treated with wax, which makes it water resistant, um, it can kind of be absorbed by some, they said it can, uh, papers can absorb the, the wax kind of coating. And that only happens in the first couple of months of you owning it, and then it kind of just wears off and doesn't happen anymore. So they highly suggested putting your papers in something. So I recommend this because it's just so cool looking. You can put all your legal documents or anything in here. Um, but I do want to mention that about the paper. So I don't have any floating paper in this. I will show you what I have. I have um, my A5 Final Facts. Fits just fine. Leather. Black. Anyway, so this is how all my papers are being stored. Um, okay, so I have an umbrella. I feel like wax cotton reminds me of, well, obviously it's from Scotland, but it just reminds me of rain. I don't know. So I thought I'd put that in there. And we'll keep going, and then I'll show you the bag empty. Long trifold wallet. I'm just going to start throwing things. This is a pouch. It's just kind of things that I think are necessities. Um chapstick, hand sanitizer, all that stuff, and sunglasses, well I'll show you those in a second. I actually put the book bag in here, kind of using it as a pouch. Uh, I don't know if people use it as a pouch, but you could definitely kind of keep more maybe your cable cords in here, um, other things that you don't really want to roll rolling around in your bag. I've had mini in the carbon sleeve. I guess I won't throw that one. Okay, it's, is it empty? Yeah. So, I want to make sure we find the light here. There's an interior pocket, and this is awesome because every woman that has a tote, there's always things that are missing, you know, the closure or the top handles, and an interior pocket is so valuable. But the way I use my interior pocket, I think is kind of unique. I put um, the front pocket here. Are you seeing this? Let's just more. This pocket here is, um, I'm going to watch this and be like, oh gosh, Janae. Okay. It's a sewn pocket where the back here goes straight to the bottom. So I use that as something where I put pens and I just loop my sunglasses in there. And then I have in here, oh, my business cards. And you can put your wallet in there or things like your car key, something you want to reach quicker. So even though I struggled to show you that, that's my suggestion on how to use that back pocket. So there's no uh, bottom lining, no feet, which I'm okay with. And uh, the inside has the other side of those mechanisms on the front right here. So they put bull leather on the inside as well, so they're not just stitching into the canvas, they're stitching back into leather, which is brilliant, brilliant, okay. Anyway, so that's just kind of a basic walkthrough. Um, I don't know, 
I don't really know how this bag's gonna wear. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I have an Instagram feed where I just post tons of bags of how they look and how I wear them. And um, so you can go check that out. You can subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I have no idea what's next with this reviewing of bags things. I don't know. I don't know how much bigger or further it's gonna go. I'm having a blast. I'm enjoying this as a hobby, and I look forward to it whenever I get the chance to talk about a bag. I've been looking for the perfect bag. I don't know if I've actually found the exact perfect bag, which is kind of fun because that means I get to keep looking. So, um, yeah, I just want to let you guys um, keep you in the loop, I guess. Hi again. Okay, so I am five foot five, and here's the bag on my frame. I have it on the highest setting right now, so here's kind of what it looks like under my arm. It's not pinching me. It hangs nice and low. I actually, I like to have this strap um, kind of, how do I do this, on the top part closer to my neck. Did I say that right? Because I like both straps touching my shoulder at the same time. I don't stack the straps. I like to have them both laying down. I feel like that distributes the weight really well. Um, this little cross that I do, it helps just keep it on your shoulders even more. It hasn't been feeling like it slips at all. They, uh, it doesn't slip that much. It has a little bit more rough texture here as opposed to right there. So that kind of traction helps just grip your shoulder a little better. So you can see my hand is just touching at the bottom of it. I like to have the pocket out actually so I can grab my cell phone easier. But if ever you feel like items in your bag are poking you a little bit, you can wear it this way, and then this pocket is going to rub your side as opposed to whatever object you have in the bag. All right. There you go.